everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some patterns that I recently purchased, as well as sharing a couple of new makes that I have made, and I am wearing one of them, and on my dress from over here is the other. So let's just start there. So it's a new pattern that was just released by Sinclair Patterns. I was a pattern tester for this particular pattern. I jumped on it um, when I saw that it is a tunic because I'm in tunic mode, sweater dress tunic mode. And um, yeah, it's really great. Um, so it's the Sinclair Soho, I'm sorry, Dolman sleeve tunic. You can make it a sweater, a tunic, or it can be a dress. So I'm going to pop some pictures in so you can see um, me wearing it. It's a lot better to get a, a visual that way. Um, so this one, which I made with like, I think it's a kind of a brushed Hachi. It's definitely some sort of sweater knit. I can't remember where I got it. Um, I'm sure I've shown it on one of my pattern hauls. But for this one, I... Um, chose to make it the length of a dress and it has the band and uh, the band and the sleeves, the green colored and the v-neck neck band are all uh, double brushed poly and again the sweater is like hot shoe sweater net something like that. Um, it's really simple to make. I've actually never sewn a v-neck before and the instructions make it super easy. So it wasn't really hard at all. And I really like it, it's really comfy, and it's just, a, it's a quick make, honestly. And the one I am wearing, I kind of, um, let's see, this is like a sweater knit of some kind. I <laughs> can't remember, there's these random um, fabrics in my stash that I use for pattern testing. So, uh, and you can see that I used some of that uh, sweater knit, stripey sweater knit here, um, and then on the V-neck, and then you'll see that there is some color blocking going on. So you've got this, these side panels, so the front looks like a V. So I did it just on the front. I didn't put this, the side panels on the back. So you can just mix and match however you want. I saw a lot of color blocking combinations going on in the pattern testing room, and you could really have a lot of fun with it. And I will say for the sleeves on this one, I didn't have enough fabric, so I had to piece together um, this. So I've got the hachi in the middle of the sleeve, and I did that by just um, basically cutting it off at the quarter length sleeve and then using the rest with, for the, with the gray sweater knit, if that makes sense. So um, this isn't actually a pattern option. This is me not having enough fabric and having to piece together, Frankenstein together, a sleeve if you will. Um, so those are my two recent makes because they are, they were pattern tests. So um, I really like the pattern. I like all of my Sinclair patterns and I don't just say that because I'm a pattern tester or whatever. I just love the fit. I love how easy and quick they, they typically are to make. And um, yeah, so, all right, let's get on to, it's actually starting to get hot. <laughs> Who am I kidding? In Southern California, it's not exactly cold right now. So um, here are my patterns that I wanted to share with you that I bought recently. And I bought this box, this little pattern box. It was like 50% off at Joanne the other day, and it's really cute. So I decided to get this box and leave it out here on my cutting table for the patterns that I want to work on. So my to-do patterns, if you will, it's my to-do box. But right now it's my pattern haul box so I can share with you what I actually bought. So I think what I will do is go ahead and show you over here on the table so you can see them up close. It's a lot better that way, I think, because it doesn't like to focus. All right. We are over here at the cutting table. Do not mind these little marks of glue stick. I was putting together a PDF pattern and normally I'm really good and I get out my cardboard folding, cutting board, but I was lazy and I didn't and that's what happens, you get glue marks. But anyway, let's just jump into this. 
Let's start with new look. Dun, dun, dun. 6683 and this is so cute i've been trying to track this pattern down for i don't know a good month or so finally i went to a joanne that carries it and it's just a super cute sweater dress are you surprised coming from me that it is a sweater dress no you are not Let's zoom in here zoom out better i love the sleeves uh, the shoulders look a little bit off of the actual shoulder line. You can do, I think, is this a turtleneck or more like a, kind of looks like a little draped neckline, not mm, totally a cowl, but um, similar. Or you can do what looks to be more like a mocked turtleneck, which I like this one. I do have a cable knit in mind um, from Sailmaker Fabrics that I need to order for this one. Super excited, I finally got it. And it was on sale. What could be better? Next is McCall's 8022, and this is, um, it's really cute, and I've seen it before, um, and I just never bought it, but after chatting with Jen, I decided to buy it, and it's got a little drawstring up here, it's um, actually elastic cording and it'll have a little toggle, or you can make it with a hoodie. Both versions are super cute. There you go. So yeah, I think I have um, kind of a fabric in mind, I'm not sure. I'll share that at some point. I have to see if it's actually gonna work. And then, okay, what was that? So the fabrics that you want to use for this are like athletic knits, interlocks, cotton knit prints, and um, ponties would be really good for this. I did look at a ponty at Joanne. It just seemed a bit stiff, too stiff. Some ponties can be really stiff and heavy and some aren't as stiff and heavy. Next we have McCall's 7816. And again, we've got a hoodie, a long hoodie kind of dress. Um, but it comes with joggers and it comes with um, just the regular hoodie and it comes with a little What is that? Is that an actual hoodie for a dog? I believe it is. Look at that a hoodie for a dog. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I don't have a dog, but I have a cat and he likes to wear sweaters. Trust me, he does. Super cozy, you can tell. We kind of have a theme going on here. Um, let's see one of them. This one, I don't exactly know why I bought it. So it's McCall's 8049. Did I even say the number on this one? I'm all over the place today. 7816. Okay. 8049 by McCall's. Uh, so it's pictured here in faux fur. I don't think, no, I know that I won't make it in faux fur. I like this version, version C, the long one. You can make it in cuddle fleece velvet, which I, I think is what I'm going to do, or some sort of novelty fabric. Um, I think this in velvet would be super cute. And then maybe put like, kind of like a rhinestone-ish brooch closure at the top, something like that. When I say rhinestone, that can sound gaudy, but, um, like a brooch type, you know, something with jewels. I think it could be cute against, could be elegant against the, the velvet. I um, hope you get what I'm saying. But this doesn't actually, I don't believe it. Yes, it is got a hook and eye right there. So they've got some, you know, kind of bejeweled hook and eyes. And I think that would be cute. Moving on, this was inspired by Jen. She shared in one of her videos that her daughter made these pants, and I really like View D. Maybe let's look at the line art. Well, it doesn't show the front on that one, but they kind of have these petals, overlap um, openings on the leg, and I think that's cute. Now I'm going to make these um, probably when, the, when it warms up, dare I say warm up, because it's not exactly cold here right now. Um, but this is Simplicity 8922 and a lovely pair of casual pants. And honestly, I can make this out of 
flannel. I can make it out of fleece. Nothing's stopping me from making these, um, you know, warm repair. Uh, so yeah, they look like they'd be great for summer. They can be great for colder weather too. Alrighty, this one I've had before. I just repurchased it because I don't know. Sometimes I botch, <laughs> I botch the size that I cut, I think. Um, so I ended up buying another one. It was on sale for $1.99. Buttrick 6388. I just really like this um, View D. It's a, you know, a tunic sweater dress. But I like the collar in particular. You see that kind of crossover. And there's pants with this one. Whoops. So there's pants. Um, looks like you could have pockets. And then you have different tops, long sleeves, short sleeves. There's a lot of great options here. Um, just nice casual wear. Butterick 6388 for the win. All right. I got this. Um, wasn't intending on buying any dress patterns really, but $1.99 Butterick 6450. I really just love this dress. View B. I love the three-quarter sleeves, even though I tend to not be a three-quarter sleeve fan, but I just think they're really cute here. But then so is view C, the shorter sleeves. I love the gathered neckline. Let's take a look at the line art here so you can see better. It's just a super cute dress, and I think that you can do so much. You can use a variety of fabrics. Um, a variety of occasions really depending on your fabric so it calls for chalet crepe cotton blends linen wool blends I can see this being made out of a lightweight flannel to be honest with you I mean don't let what the package says recommends to stop you you experiment but I think um, like a nice high quality um, flannel could be made in to wear in warmer weather. No joke. New look 6413. And this I did not buy for the pant, the jumpsuit. I don't wear jumpsuits. I just think they look very awkward on me. I bought it for view D, or I guess you could say C and E. Now I have a fabric in mind and I will show you at a later date. Um, it's a rayon poplin, and I wanted to make it in D or C, depending on how the length is. This might be too short, view D, so I made it the longer length. But then I was going to make, see, view E has the belt, and I was going to make the belt with a faux leather, okay? But I like it because it's got um, kind of a, it is a v-neck, and it's got these sleeves. I like the longer sleeves, actually. And... Now, the front here is on a, um, it's a seam down the front. Now, I don't think, I'm not sure, I haven't read the instructions. I don't know if that's a style seam or if that's meant to aid in the construction of this v-neck. But I'm going to try to not have the seam down the front and place that on the fold. There's no reason why I can't. I just don't know if they've added it to ease with how they've finished that v-neck. No, actually, you guys, I'm crazy. You know, I just remembered. That's a zipper. You see here? She's got an invisible zipper. That's what that is. Um, so it's a style thing, really, um, because I don't really think that you need to have a zipper to put this thing on. If you want my opinion, maybe you do. But... Um, I'm not going to put the zipper up the front. I don't want the zipper up the front, so I will not have it. So when I make this, we will have no seam in the front and we will have no zipper. Okay, so I had um, bought, let me show you, because I actually have it over here. This is one piece of fabric that I got from Melanated Fabrics from our dear friends Mimi G and Brittany J. So they launched their website. They sold out like crazy of their fabric. I was able to get one piece and the rest of mine's back ordered. And I'll share it with you when I can, when I get it. But I got this. It's, I got two yards of it. Can't remember the price off the top of my head. I wasn't planning to share fabric today. But it's speckled. It's got little red and white speckles. 
and it's soft and it's wonderful. And yeah, I mean, I'm not exactly moving too far of what this is recommended, this chunky sweater. I just, it's just gonna work really, really well. The only problem is I don't know if I want, want to make view A, C, or B. Um, I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards B or C because I've been making a lot of tunic dresses and, I mean tunic dresses, sweater tunics and sweater dresses. And I thought if I made a shorter version, I could wear a little black skirt and red tights to, um, to match the little red speckles. So I think that's what I'm gonna do, you guys. Um, this is a really great pattern, Simplicity 9178. I think it's adorable. It's got this sort of um, collar neckline, if you will, that folds over that way, and it's super cute. And that fabric is absolutely perfect for it. Okay, I got, funny enough, I went and I didn't realize that there was going to be a sale. I never know the sale are. At our dear friend Joanne, and I bought this originally online, and when I bought it online, there weren't very many, so I kind of got a slightly priced gouge, like I paid closer to $10 for this. Isn't that crazy? I know. Yes, so I ordered it, and um, I think it's $10 with shipping, but usually I pay like 3 or $4 for a pattern if I buy it on eBay. But then, when I went to go buy the patterns, because there ended up being a pattern sale, they actually had it. So a dollar and a half, I bought, I bought it again. I just, I just had to. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna have two of them, by gosh. Okay, I should stop ranting. So it's Vatarix 6385, and I bought it because it is just a classic wool coat. I mean, it's just classic. You'll always be able to wear this. It's beautiful lines. It's not too boxy. It's got some slight fit, kind of flares out at the hems ever so slightly. Um, buttons, the pockets, you can have a pe look more like a Peter Pan collar, or you can have a normal looking collar, or you can have more of a, I don't, I'm blanking out on what that is called, but you know what I mean. You have a collar up. So, yeah, collar variations, that's all you need to know. But, um, yeah, get yourself like a melton wool, even a boiled wool. Um, if you want to be spendy and luxurious, go to Mood and get their um, cashmere wool blend. It's like 40 bucks a yard, but they'll probably have a Black Friday sale, so go for it. It's like, what, three yards, 40, on a 60-inch fabric, you can get away with like less than three yards. So treat yourself, my friends yourself a luxurious wool coat. And then I have this. I don't know. I thought I had it, but I guess I never did. Strange, strange. Okay. You're probably like, that looks so similar to what you just showed. And yes, it certainly does. It really, really does. But let's look at the line art here. This has a uh, flap pockets. It looks like it's slightly more fitted. This has princess seams. This coat has princess seams as well. Um, I don't know. I just, I think I bought it because of the trench coat. But like, I never wear trench coats. I doubt. I don't know why. I, this is what we do, right? We just buy patterns. We hoard because we want variety. There's something about this that I just felt, I don't know. I needed to have it. Anyway, you guys, don't ask me. Uh, that was Berta6772. I'm doing a terrible job today. Okay, and then I have, this I got maybe a few weeks ago, actually. Um, it wasn't part of this particular haul, but this is Vogue1721, and I'm so sorry about the glare, but this is a, it's obviously a dress, and it's got kind of like a turtleneck, mock turtleneck, some sleeves. I don't want to call them bishop sleeves, but they are slightly gathered here at the wrist. Um, I like it because it's uh, it's like a wintery dress kind of thing. It's for knits, and I've been enjoying sewing knits, and that's why I bought it. Um, 
This is a midi length, which isn't my cup of tea. So I will likely shorten it to be just like right at my knee. Probably, I think. I don't know, maybe I should just get over the midi thing and wear a midi. I don't know. Why do I feel like it cuts me off? I think it, I feel like the midi dresses just cut me off. Okay, so you guys, I wanna show you what I'm working on. I'm working on a little dress for my friend's um, little Christmas dress. She's gonna have little Christmas pictures. So for their Christmas cards, she needs a Christmas dress. I'm going to be making, um, basically it's view H. So focus, please. I'll hold it back here. Um, so it's got the little puff sleeves. It's gonna be all red. This has lace on her. This has lace on the um, sleeves and the bodice, but I'm not gonna do that. It's gonna be all red. It'll have a plaid belt with poinsettia. And then, um, yeah, that's what it's gonna look like. And I'm going to do a video dedicated to that. Um, so you'll see more, but that is what's on my cutting table as we speak. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, I don't think I've got anything else to share at the moment. So that's it. All right, so that was my pattern haul. And you may be a subscriber at, uh, today in Jen's sewing room. So Jen and I are working on a little collaboration that will be coming out in the near future. So you may have seen some patterns in my haul that are pretty much, well, they are the same from her haul. So we've been chatting and kind of sharing pattern ideas and we've liked some of the same as you can tell. So anyway, um, I also wanted to remind you, if you're not already subscribed to my Instagram account, go check it out. It's SoCal underscore Socialite. And I post there a lot more than here. Um, you'll see daily bits, not daily, but like more updates on my projects than you will here. So check that out. And I just wanted to thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And I will see you in my next video.